I'm Aaron from the Pickleball Clinic. I'm here with Eric White, National Partnership Coordinator for YOLA. You know, when you think about big brands, big sports brands, and you think about the names that come to mind associated with those brands, you might think of the star athlete, maybe the founder, but how do those products become distributed? How do they go from idea to conception to getting in the hands of the people that really love them? Well, it's it's not necessarily the star player. It may not be the founder. It's really the, the people working super hard day in and day out to, to make that happen. And a lot of the people behind the scenes are really the lifeblood of a lot of brands, including Yola, number one paddle brand in the world. So Eric, you know, I, I, I normally have a trillion different questions lined out for interviews, but you have a fantastic story, not just about your involvement in helping grow Yola, but really how the number one player of all time to go, Ben Johns, came to Yola. So ben Johns has officially moved over to Yola as his paddle sponsor. Ben uh, got a new paddle. Ben's playing with a new paddle, the Yola paddle. Today we are doing first thoughts on my first tournament with Yola in the Hyperion series here. Frank Anthony Davis actually introduced Ben and I many, many, many years ago. Ben played his first nationals, I think when he was 15. And, um, and Frank Anthony Davis said, hey, and there's a kid that's absolutely lighting it up. He's only 15, 16, I think he was 15 at the time. And he says, he lives like 30 minutes from you. Do you mind if I introduce you? I said, hell yeah. So I actually uh, got to start to play with Ben um, around Maryland. There wasn't a lot of people playing 10 years ago. So we, we were playing and doing our thing. And, um, and yeah, so, so that's how I met Ben. Forward everything though to Yola. Um, so Yola, I was teaching lessons at a local Y in uh, Chevy Chase, which is uh, in Montgomery County, which is about 10 minutes from Yola headquarters. And I was just teaching and my wife kept asking me, why are you driving an hour and a half to go teach? And I'm like, ah, I like teaching there. So a week later, Caroline, which is Richard's wife, started taking my class. Richard's best friend started taking my class. And finally they drug Richard to, to, my, to my clinic. And Richard and them were just starting to play the game. So I gave them multiple lessons at the Y. And in August of 2021, Richard's like, hey, I'm the owner of Yola. Um, we're the number one table tennis distributor in the world. Would you, we're getting into pickleball. Would you mind trying our paddles? And I said, I would love to. <laughs> I was excited. We got our first prototypes in, in September. Richard called me. So I've hit with the very, very first Yola prototype paddle of all time. Like we, like I was the first person to probably ever try them. So it was really, really cool. So Richard and I developed a very good friendship. Um, he took a couple more lessons, but we developed more of a friendship. And we start, he started really bouncing pickleball questions off of me because he just got into pickleball in 2020. So he didn't know a lot about the business. I'd been in for 10, 11 years. And, and he said, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about signing pro player and I'd love to go after Ben Johns. Um, I know his contract with Franklin ends in, at the end of March. And he goes, man, starting a company with Ben would be unbelievable. I said, well, if you want me to make a phone call, I can. And I said, if I call him right now, he'll answer. And he's like, you know Ben Johns? I said, yes. I said, I said, Benny and I have been friends for a long time. When Ben was going to University of Maryland, I was yep. a state trooper at all the football games. So Benny and I have always had a good friendship. I called Ben after Richard said, hey, he gave me the green light. I told Richard, I said, Ben's gonna cost a lot, but starting a company with Ben Johns, it's, it's priceless. I said, you're gonna get your, you, I said, you're gonna get so much value out of, uh, you know, and, and credibility out of starting a company with the number one guy in the world. And I said, Ben is the only guy in pickleball that influences paddle sales. If Ben changes paddle companies, everybody else changes paddle companies. So it's very, very cool. So yeah, he went down that road. Richard gave me the green light. He said, call Ben, get things going. So it was one night, Ben was uh, heading to a pickleball getaway with him and Deckel. And he said, I can't talk, but text. Sent him a text that was, you know, on the iPhone, it was like this long. And I said, look, I met a guy, he owns Yola. Um, and they're getting into pickleball. I said, the paddles are super good. I said, I'm super excited. I said, they're looking to sign a pro. I said, we have to get this thing together. Like, I have to get you in front of them and you have to try these paddles. What was his first reaction when you said Yola? The, the, I mean, he knew the from cool, ping pong, but. Exactly, the coolest part was, Ben's like, I went to their, their ping pong academy. Like, right. I, I used to train there, you right. know, in the summertime, me and Colin. So, there was already that connection. Sure. And, um, and Ben's like, set it up. So uh, when Ben got back, uh, we set it up. We went to Woodmont Country Club. Ben used the paddles. I mean, we had, we had 30, 40 paddles at the time and Ben really liked one of them. And he told Richard, he's like, hey, I really, really, really like this. Let's change this, change that. Richard immediately called 
called the warehouse, got the prototype going. This was before he even signed. So got the prototype going. So he was just so excited about Ben and, and, and he was just amazed at how great Ben was as a person, as a human being, as a player, just, just a fantastic guy. So, so Richard was, was all in, he was psyched. So get him the paddle, we go through a couple different prototypes. The Hyperion's born and, uh, and Yola is just, you know, from that point forward, just chewing their way to the top and just tearing it up. Yep. So it's really, it's, it's really fun, like the position that I was in because being friends with Ben, it was just, it was a perfect segue, you know, to meet Richard and timing wise, I mean, me staying and teaching at the Y, me getting to meet Richard, when I probably shouldn't have been teaching there anyway, it was too far of a drive. But like literally a week later, I meet Richard, the whole ball starts rolling, and timing wise, we just perfect. Ben leaving in April, us trying to start a paddle company in April. So it was, it was just really, really cool and um, just exciting, exciting time, man.